Hello everyone. You probably already know that I'm a huge supporter of open source projects, right? I've always been passionate about finding and promoting tools that are not only powerful, but also give you the freedom to own your data and customize your experience. For a long time, I didn't think too much about notifications. Like many of you, I just use Telegram or other convenient platforms without a second thought. But with all the recent changes and concerns around Telegram, I started wondering if there is any good, fully open source and servo-stable options for notifications. I mainly use Telegram just to receive notifications from various services and servers. So I went on a hunt to find a viable alternative. And behold, I came across amazing platform called Notify. Which by the way is pronounced Notify. <laughs> and it caught my attention immediately. Deploying it on my servers was surprisingly easy thanks to the well-crafted documentation with clear step-by-step -step instructions. And everything just works seamlessly. And guess what? Their GitHub repository has a whopping 17,000 stars and that's a testament how much the community loves it. Um, I was so impressed that I decided to support the project by purchasing a business plan. It's my way of giving back to developers who have created such an incredible tool. So in today's video, I'll be walking you through the main features of Notify and showing you how we can set up various notifications from our services, including something as essential as SSH login alerts. So whether you are a developer, sysadmin, or just someone who loves tinkering with tech, you are going to find this really useful. So let's dive in. So let's quickly go over the main features of Notify. And when you go on the website ntfy.sh, you can read more. So let's jump to the features. And as you can see, it allows you to send push notifications from your app or script. You can use curl, CLI, JavaScript, Go, Python, etc. There are no limitations from which application you want to send those notifications. And usually those messages can be published via put or post. Another great feature is that you can subscribe to a topic and instantly receive your notifications. You can even install an official application on your Android iOS devices, which uh, I will show you later in this video. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, simple platform. And once uh, I show you, for example, how we can integrate it with the uh, SSH, uh, you will understand completely. Also, one of my use case uh, is that I'm running some cron jobs for backups and I want to know if these cron jobs run correctly or if it fails. So if it runs correctly, I will receive notification and if it fails, I will also receive notification. So I know that I need to go and check. Regarding the pricing, uh, as I mentioned, it is fully open source. You can also self host it on the server. But let me jump back to pricing and uh, as you can see, you can start with support plan, which is $5 a month. You will get uh, 205,000 messages daily, three reserved topics, uh, three phone calls, 50 emails and 25 megabytes per attachment. Then you can uh, choose Pro, which got more, more resources, more messages, more reserved topics. And as for the business, uh, you have Seriously, a lot of uh, daily messages, five, uh, 50k, which I don't even use it, but I think the pricing is very, very reasonable. And uh, I'm not going to show you in this video how you can self host it on your server. But if this video receives 50 likes, I'm going to show you how you can deploy it via simple Docker Compose in your environment. Because I do really believe that. Uh, we need to support this project by uh, choosing their uh, cloud offerings, which are very, very affordable for anyone, I think. And uh, if you have a bigger plans or dedicated server, you can definitely contact them 
and they will deploy and manage a dedicated server for your notifications. All right, so uh, let's check the open source and let's go on their uh, hold on documentation. And this documentation portal is seriously really well made with clear and simple instructions. So if you want to also install it on your server, you can just follow the installations, right? It's very simple and easy. So I think that's it uh, for this feature overview. It's really simple. There is uh, basically nothing to, to go about. So let me just show you how I set up my notifications for SSH logins. So I'm currently logged in uh, into uh, my dashboard. And first thing what you want to do uh, when you log in to your account is to create a reserve topic. And the reserve topic is a space where you will receive your uh, notifications. So let me just create a new topic for this uh, demonstration. So when we go to settings, as you can see, the reserve topic are you can also create it for public or you can protect it for yourself. So in this demonstration, we're going to create a private topic. So let me create a reserve topic and it's going to be SSH tests. And here you can choose that uh, who can basically uh, push notifications to this topic. So for security purposes, only I can publish and subscribe. SSH test can click add and now you can also add the users if you have users in your team that want to receive also crucial notifications you can set it up those uh, here in this menu you can change some appearance but what i wanted to do now is to create a api key for this reserve topic and in order to create those uh, tokens for this topic uh, you need to go to account Access tokens, create access token, for example, SSH testing. You can also uh, do this token that it expires, but uh, since this is private, I will never expire with it. And I will create this token for SSH testing. So once we have this token, make sure to copy in the clipboard. And now we go and set up our SSH notifications. So on Notify uh, Documentation Portal, when you scroll down to go to Examples, you can see examples for cron jobs, loading space alerts, SSH login alerts. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to set up the SSH logins. And as you can see, what you will need to do, exact step by step, which is really great. So first, we will need to add this line to slash etc slash pmd slash sshd which we will basically add a plugin to our SSH notification service. And after that, we will need to create this uh, SSH login script, which will push this message to our notification channel. So it's pretty really simple and straightforward. There's nothing to worry about, and I'm going to show you how you can do it uh, right now. So let me... Change the screen here. Where is it? All right. And I already have the script here in my VS code. So what we need to do is we need to get our, let me scroll up, scroll down. We need to get our, where is it? And we need to get our API key. I'm gonna subscribe. It's perfect. So we will need to change the uh, topic, which is SSH tests. And now we're gonna get our token, which will be used only for these notifications. So let me copy it. And we're gonna paste the authorization token straight away here. And as you can see, Everything should be right. And the message we want to send is 
that if somebody log in, it will send the username. Then it will send the host name of the server. And of course, we want to send also the IP which was connected to the server, which is really crucial if you got some policies to monitor who and when will log in into the server. All right, so let me uh, log in into uh, my system. Okay. So I'm logged in as administrator on my own server. And as we follow the documentation, we need to add this line at the end of this file. So you can edit this file with nano slash etc slash pem slash d sshd. We can copy this whole line and we can paste it at the end. Control O, enter and control X to exit. And last step is to add our sh uh, script for this notification. So it will be nano slash user slash bin slash ntfi dash ssh login dot sh. And now we can paste the script uh, that was provided. Only thing we edit is we add the host name and also the authorization token because yeah, for everything we need to be secure. So I like to keep it that way and we can paste it. And now uh, we can restart our SSH. So system control restart SSH. And now when we exit, And when we log back in, let me switch to my notification. So we're gonna do SSH webnestify. We should receive a notification, but we did not. So let me figure it out what happened. And I found out uh, what I forget. Uh, we need to set the script to be launched as application. So we need to change some permissions. So let me Elevate myself. And what we need to change is ch mode plus x. And now we need to put the path of the script. So user bin notify. So now the script can be executed on each login. So let me just exit. And now we can connect again and we should receive notification. And as you can see, we we receive notification that uh, Webnestify logged in on Webnestify from this IP address. All right, and now I'm going to show you how you can add this application to your mobile and how you can also connect to this uh, space on your mobile devices. So yeah, as you can see, it's really easy to set up notifications from various services and the Notify documentation is incredibly comprehensive. So whether you are a beginner or experienced user, you will find it straightforward to get started. 
And as I mentioned earlier, if this video receives 50 likes, I'll create a follow-up tutorial showing you how to self-host, notify using Docker, and also how you can integrate it, the notification script into your Cloudinit config for a truly unattended installation. So thank you very much for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next one. See you soon.